We got Jasmine on the line. She, her, uh, it's, you're a theist. So tell us about your question. Yeah. Well, um, I was just thinking with all these calls, you know, a lot of the new religions and new age spirituality start to try to integrate, uh, especially quantum mechanics, but other sciences too. And I was wondering your guys' view on, on that and, uh, um, all that, if you could, please. Thank you. To, to clarify, you you say that basically that quantum mechanics is kind of becoming a new religion. Is that what you mean? Uh, well, certainly uh, somewhat, you know, especially with people who are untrained, which, you know, most people aren't trained in, you know, much physics, right? Um, mm -hmm. But not specifically quantum mechanics, but a lot of them are integrating some sort of quantum mechanics into like uh, energy and, you know, things coming in and out of existence and all this stuff. But I think it's based off of, you know, most people don't know a lot about quantum mechanics, including me. And I uh, just, you know, want your guys' opinions on that. Yeah, I can go first if that's good with you, Aaron. Um, Please do. Please do. A lot of uh, New Age groups definitely work like um, quantum mechanics into things. And, and here's why, in my opinion, because any technology or whatever that is not sufficiently understood looks like magic, right? Like we can see the same thing happening with AI, literal religions popping up around AI and people using AI to validate their insane spiritualistic whatevers, right? Um, that's just kind of human nature, it seems to me, to try to use something they don't understand to to kind of superimpose beliefs that they already have onto it, if you will. Um, as far as quantum mechanics goes, there's a lot of weird stuff in quantum mechanics, right? Like quantum entanglement is just weird. There's a lot of odd stuff that we don't understand and that is incongruent with um, our broader understanding of the world around us. And that makes it even easier for people to, to try to kind of integrate it into their whole system because to really rebut what these, say, religious leaders, um, spirit science or Teal Swan or whoever, are claiming about it, you have to have a strong, deep understanding of the systems in the first place. And not many people do. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of my take on it. Yeah. People are integrating things they don't understand into their belief system. Uh, what do you think? Um, this is actually... Well, I, I kind oh, of... Sorry, go on, Doug. Let's go ahead. Sorry, the delays. Uh, well, uh, uh, Please, well, Jasmine, I, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Uh, Jasmine. Thank you. Um, well, I, I kind of follow some of the, like, I don't, I don't actually practice the new religions, but I like to read about them. And, you know, there's there's some like the Ray Allians and uh, yeah. uh, Falun Gong, uh, trying to mm -hmm. think of a few more. Uh, but a lot of them also, uh, you know, integrate uh uh, what you call it, life extension, like medical life extension, either, you know, up, uh, uploading their brains into quantum computers, or uh, I think the Raelians are big into cloning. Um, there's yep. also all sorts of uh, weird variants on uh, all these, these, I guess, science cults, you would call them maybe. Yeah. There, there is a lot of variants. It's so funny you but, bring up yeah. aliens uh, because I actually, again, like I'm not trying to plug my website, but cultcompass.org, <laughs> I actually have this whole thing about the Raelians. A uh, fascinating group. Yeah, we've got, we've also gonna... got a small, small following up here uh, due to okay. the, the, the French population because I believe the Raelians came out of the, uh, came out of France, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the founder native. figure is a, a French native. Yeah. So you, what were you going to say, uh, Aaron? I was going to first, you know, if you're going to hawk things, I got to hawk my own stuff too. So, uh, da, 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 da. oh, I don't have it here. My goodness, I need to be hawking my own uh, wares because in my uh, book about aliens and religion, I have to talk about the UFO cults, like the Raelians, because. Uh, 
uh, one of the things I had to wanted to address was, hey, if we ever do, you know, prove that intelligent aliens exist, what's going to happen to religious groups? And you know, the UFO cults are going to explode in popularity because they're going to be the only religious group out there claiming we were right and have the tiniest sliver of evidence in their favor. Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> so if and when we detect intelligent life out in the universe. Yeah, people are going to be rushing to the Ethereum Society, to the Raelians, or who knows what other groups will pop up uh, in the weeks after such an announcement. Um, uh, yeah. But when it comes to quantum mechanics and all this, um, Jasmine, are you familiar with The Secret? Uh, yeah, I, I've, uh, I'm somewhat familiar, but yes. Yeah, they use quantum, or tried to at least. Yes. Yeah, they are explicit along with uh, a bunch of other similar new age groups that basically say that quantum mechanics completely agrees with all their stuff. And especially the idea that quantum mechanics proves that reality doesn't exist. It's not real in a sense that it's completely created by the mind or a super mind because the observer is what creates reality. When you observe a particle, it changes it. So therefore, consciousness is fundamental to reality. And the secret basically takes that cranks it up to 11, and then adds an amplifier onto that to basically say your thoughts control the universe. And so you are um, the idea of manifesting comes from this, that you are somehow sending out positive vibes to the universe and the universe responds by sending positive things back to you. You get what you want by wishing for it hard enough and saying that's what quantum mechanics proves. And um, as a professional physicist, I can say, no, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> Uh, just to give a bit of historical background some physicists in the past almost none now thought that consciousness had something to do with uh the fundamental nature of uh interactions with subatomic particles but uh the most dominant views today amongst uh physicists who talk about quantum mechanics is either they go with the uh classical description of it what's sometimes called the wave collapse or the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, that uh, something exists in all possible states until observed, uh, and the observation uh, basically forces it to take a state. Uh, And probably the other really popular one, though nowhere near dominant, is the many worlds interpretation. Neither of them require actual conscious agents to work. Uh, It's completely reductionist physics of just particles bumping into each other and the observation is just particles interacting in the same way that when you shine light on something light is bouncing off that object that bouncing off is the interaction no consciousness required and the people who say otherwise today just have something to sell do you have any other thoughts on the uh, on the subject yeah for us, it, well what Uh, just, uh, well, I was just kind of thinking about the secret and how that kind of promotes sort of a toxic, uh, positivity, you know, I've, mm. a lot of people initially mm. when that thing came, that book or whatever, et cetera, came out, a lot of people were into it, including myself, but, you know, after a while, you just realize it's just this positive tox, uh, positive, toxic positivity. And, you know, you, you end up blaming yourself for having quote unquote wrong thoughts. And uh, obviously, atheists are, are, you know, big on free thought. So uh, that's my my uh, thought. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, seems like yeah. the delay is pretty bad. So I'm sorry if it sounds like there's some blank space there. But yeah, I agree. Um, do you think such? Do you think there's such things as thought crimes or thoughts? That could be harmful to people, like just in their heads, not necessarily, uh, you know, like like thoughts focus. that would be. Well, I think that thoughts. Um, I think that we shouldn't be regulating people's thoughts, and we, you know, it, there's no reason to go down that road, and it leads to absurdity. But I do think that the things that you think and believe affect the things that you say and do. And 
you know, you can rely on somebody who has disgusting evil beliefs to be a, a disgusting evil human being to act that way. So I don't think that there are, I don't think that anybody should be like considered criminal for anything that, that they think uh, that that's leading down a dangerous road for society. But I'm absolutely going to criticize somebody for holding beliefs that are, you know, destructive, basically. And there is such a thing as delusions, um, and think- those could be harmful to the individual as well as society. But that is, I don't think, addressed well by um, criminalizing. But if you have a delusion that is actually harmful, this is something where um, psychiatric care is far and away the best approach. Um, uh, if you have a belief that is causing you actual harm, then you want help, not uh, to be put behind bars. At least um, that's my first instinct. Uh, we have enough people already in jail uh, here in the U.S. We don't need to add to the pile because we don't like what they think. Yeah, definitely agree. Okay, that's all I had. Thank you. All right, thank you for calling. Awesome. That was really interesting. Hey, if you liked that clip, you'd love the whole thing. Hit like, subscribe, yeah. leave a comment, patreon.com slash call the line. <laughs> that one sucked. <laughs> Use it. <laughs>